Moxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Thank you for watching. As you can see, we're setting up for the apocalypse. Hey guys, as you can see, I got Tag Pack. Uh, this is actually the Tag Pack Christmas box. I haven't been subscribing to Tag Pack on a monthly basis. Uh, you know, I there's a couple of I, I was disappointed with it. I've got the Christmas box every year, and so I kind of know what to expect. And there was something that wasn't in this box that really disappointed me. But uh, we'll get into that and uh, everything else in the meantime. Miraculous Girl, thank you for that amazing introduction. Uh, and let's get into this tag pack and take a look at it and see what's going on. All right, guys. So we're going to get into this tag pack Christmas pack. Uh, we got our briefing card, if you want to call it that. And you know what? Here it is. I'll uh, take a still shot of that. Uh, and post it on there if you guys want to try and freeze frame and read it and stuff. Uh, we'll take a peek on this and uh, I'm going to set it right over here so I can see it. So first up, we got the real avid gun tool. I'm going to look for that right now. And that's this. Ooh, that's a big beefy thing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get a Gerber tool to uh, open that up with the uh, standby. All right, we're going to use the Gerber dime because, uh, you know, I'll tell you guys, out of many of the knives and Swiss Army knives and stuff, this little tool on the Gerber dime is the best for opening up blister packs. It's, I, I, I just can't explain it. That is the best tool I've ever seen. For opening up blister packs. Wow, this is a beefy, heavy tool. Look at that. Uh, I have some other real avid tools, and this has a lot more to it. Oh, look at that. It has a flip open screw port thing. Uh, You have a bunch of different AR tools on here. Look at that. You know what? This is pretty awesome. Oh, there's a magnet in there holding these in, too. I wonder if there's a way to, an easier way to get these to release out because, does that open up? shows them in there. Does that push them out? No, that's locking. Does this whole tool slide? Why does it show them this whole thing come apart? That's the lock for that. Somehow this thing opens up. This whole thing opens up somehow. Oh, that whole thing slides out. There you go. There you go. All right, so you can see, and some of these are double-sided bits. There's more than one bit in here. They pop out, pop in, magnet attaches. You have a whole list of different bits in here. Let's see. The bit set is a 7 and 6, 7 64th hex, a 1 8th hex, a 9 60 quarters hex, a 3 16 hex, a T10, a T15, a number 1 Phillips, 1 quarter flat, and an A2 front sight adjuster. That's freaking awesome. This is a really cool tool. I really like this. Uh... That locks into place, locks into place there. It's got a belt clip. Don't know why you want to carry that on your belt. And then over here, you have a liner lock knife blade. That's cool. 
um, what do they call this tool? Firing pin scraper, um, carrier scraper. That's cool. And that also is a liner lock in there. And then you have your uh, firing pin, retaining pin puller. And let's see, is there anything else on that? So you got that. Of course, Tag Pack is a big gun uh, accessory item. So let's see, this is your bolt override tool. And all of these have a liner lock style. And then you have a takedown punch. There's your takedown punch. I'm, really, I'm sorry I'm going through this really fast. This is really cool. AR-15 tool. I Like I said, I have a couple of these real avid style tools. And this already has surpassed those. This thing is awesome. Uh, this would be great. Give you an idea of some of the tools in that. Wow, this is really cool. You got a Tano style blade in there. And there's your bolt carrier scraper. Wow. This is really cool. Fold out magnetic lock bit. Is that how that? No, if that slid in that way, just slide in that way. It had to have gone in this way. Right there. There you go. Kind of having trouble getting them back together here. Getting them all back together. My real avid gun tool. Okay, there we go. Once you get everything facing the right direction, get it all back together. All right, so that is super cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, oh, look, instructions on how to put it back together. All right, so that's cool. All right, so next up, Survivor Equipment 4-Slot Pistol Rack. All right, here is the 4-Slot Pistol Rack. We are going to use our Williamson Copenhagen Despot to open this up. I don't have one of these. Although I saw a couple of other people talking about it. And um, they said it was pretty cool. You probably have to put it together. Yeah, it looks like it's something that has to be put together. So this is like a polymer. Oh, here's a nice picture of it. And this is a four slot pistol rack. That's awesome. So when you store your handguns in the safe, you now have slots for at least four of them. If you have more than four, you might need to buy a few of those. So I'll have to see, maybe there's a discount code. All right, so next up, that's actually pretty cool though. I moved that to the side because it's so big, it'll take up my whole table. Uh, CRKT, 
Love it. All right, so CRKT. This is called the Slacker Folding EDC Knife. This is a $70 value. I, I forget what I paid for this box. I want to say it was $100. Wow, that's pretty cool. I, I already see it has the takedown parts, kind of like the uh, home front. This one's a lot smaller. It's a liner lock. It is lined up really nice. Flips out good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, look at that. I like it. Slacker, US patent number, Kent Onion design. I like the way this feels. I like the breakdown on these. Uh, they come apart, if you didn't know. Uh, you unscrew this part right here. Uh, flip this. Unscrew it. And this whole thing just breaks apart into three different parts. Did I have it? And considering how nice this flipped, the original home front actually had the instructions on the inside. Some little hollow points in there. And when you put it back together, you just kind of do the same thing. You just put it back together. Put that in there. You screw it back together. Got to turn it the right way if you want to do it right. Flip your little switch. Wow, that's pretty. Has a nice pocket clip, deep carry pocket clip. Still have some paper over here. Let's see. Look at those little curly cues coming off that. Oh, that's nice. You got jimping on the back of it. I need a cloth, cleaning cloth. Just because I got finger points on this blade. I like the blade, the CRKT on there. You really can't complain about that. That is freaking beautiful. I love it. Love it. CRKT. Uh, it comes with a little instruction book that tells you how to take it apart. So you can do it in the right order in case I didn't. <clears throat> they have a paracord survival bracelet. You can cut down trees. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So CRKT, a big fan of CRKT. Uh, I have another CRKT knife I'm going to be reviewing uh, that I got from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. All right, next up, Outlaw Soap Gunpowder Scent. Uh, I have a friend that makes soap. She makes freaking awesome soap. Hmm. Gunpowder smells like flowers. You know, I love the black powder when we shoot the 40 millimeter. Oh, man. And this doesn't smell like that. So, uh, anyway, uh, it's soap. You wash yourself. It's good. Uh, let's see. Are they giving these things values? Uh, Outlaw soap, $7 value. CRKT knife, $70. The pistol racks, uh, $30. Uh, the gun tool, $70. So I think I paid a hundred, maybe a hundred and fifty or something for this box. So so far, I'm pretty happy with this box. Slate Industries four grit.
All right, here we go. This is the Slate Industries foregrip. It has the tools and stuff. This is an AR-15. Uh, weapon light, laser accessory, multi-platform optional, barrier anchor, recoil control. Uh, looks like it... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of a light brown, dark brown. I have a brown build, so, uh, coming up, so that's kind of cool. Um, what else is in here? All right, so let's see here. Next, Hollow Point Coffee. Uh, for those of you that just are adamantly politically correct or something there's a new coffee company around called hollow point coffee company and uh i now have a cop for hollow point hot coffee company um i don't know anything about this their cup was made in china uh so hollow point coffee company made in china coffee cup there you go i like hollow points got nothing against hollow points so there we go. There's our hollow point coffee cup. Let's see, goat guns. You know what? These are cool. I enjoy these. I know James, video addict, uh, gets really mad about this particular item. I think this is a freaking awesome item. I really like it. I built my other one. I had it sitting on my fireplace mantle. It's a little mini, uh, what is this, an AR-15, and I think my other one was too, and you can put a flash suppressor or a big giant uh, flash suppressor on it. It has a magazine, it's detachable, it has a couple little bullets go in it, uh, but I'm a model builder, so uh, yeah, I'm going to like it. James, I know he doesn't like it. He doesn't watch my channel, so who cares, but um, anyway, so that is, to me, cool. Uh, so, so far, I, I, you know, you think, wow, why does he say I, he was disappointed with this box? Well, I'm getting there. I'm going to show you what was missing, what, why I was disappointed. So, that's the goat gun. So, next we got a nine-line hoodie. Now, I'm rare and extra large, so I don't have any sizing issues. I'm not wearing a triple X or anything. Um, this is... Absolutely awesome. First of all, you got your flag on your sleeve, and I love that. Uh, the flag on the sleeve. It's actually going the right direction towards the back. So uh, you're moving forward. Uh, and that's it. It's a gray hoodie. Oh, wait, you got nine line up here uh, on, the, on the chest. So it's not over the top. It's got a drawstring hood on it. It's really soft as all new hoodies are. I'm going to set this aside, but I really like this. That's awesome. Going to be wearing that. All right, so uh, Christmas coaster. <clears throat> ah, look at that. You got your Christmas coaster. That's cool. <clears throat> all right, next up. Nutcracker sticker. Got my Nutcracker sticker right here. Um, okay, so I missed something here. We have this $6 keychain that is a mini... What is it? SBR. They say this $6 value. The hoodie was $43 value. The coaster, $4. Seriously, I would not pay $4 for that. The Nutcracker sticker, $2. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't pay $2 for that either. Most places give you stickers for free. All right. Uh, so, uh, and I guess this is free. You got some military hydration powder. Um... I guess this is from Nine Line. It's uh, it has some discount codes on there, so you got some hydration powder in there. Uh, and there's another. Uh, oh, Hollow Point Coffee. They didn't give you any Hollow Point Coffee, but you got a. 
Use code TACPAC and you save 40% off on your first order of Hollow Point Coffee. Uh, I'll have to look them up and see what they're about. Uh, but anyway, so you got Hollow Point Coffee. Okay, so let's get down to it. Great box, great value. You got some really great tools in here. I got the hoodie, uh, this real avid tool, the coffee cup I like. Uh, this uh, foregrip is cool. I love the toy. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. I feel like I got my money's worth. Why am I disappointed? For the last four years, I've been getting these amazing Christmas morale patches. Okay? I love these things. Have yourself a dozer little Christmas. Awesome. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, now I have a machine gun. With the exception of the Dozer Christmas, these are all from Christmas movies. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I love these Christmas morale patches. They did not send us one this year. There wasn't one in their December box. I've watched the unboxings. Uh, that's the whole, well, it's not the whole reason, but it's one of the main reasons I ordered the Christmas tack pack. I wanted my, my Christmas morale patch. I didn't get one. I'm really disappointed. Tack pack, you got to step it up. I, I need my Christmas morale patch. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Uh, overall, like I said, this was the Christmas tag pack. Uh, I think it's a phenomenal box. I had to do this unboxing and get going because uh, I, 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 I want to build my little mini AR-15. Um, I think this is a poor substitute for the morale patch. Uh, nutcracker sticker, okay, whatever. So anyway, so that's Tag Pack Christmas 2021. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and remember, be nice to each other.